Hello everyone and welcome back to Deciphering Weather. In today's video we are tracking a cluster of thunderstorms that has the potential to become a subtropical storm in the next few days. If you like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. So I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's watched my videos over the last five years. Today is our five year anniversary. First video I ever made for this channel was back on April 17th of 2020. We all remember how crazy that season was and created a big boost in my viewership during that first year. And I just want to thank everyone who's watched any video over the last five years. And I hope that we get to grow even more this year. So we're looking at the Atlantic Basin thanks to tropicaltippets.com. Uh, looking at our black arrow, that is a cluster of thunderstorms just north of the Caribbean islands and to the south and east of Bermuda, where we could see a potential subtropical storm form over the next few days. And the purple arrow on the bottom right of your screen, that is the intertropical convergence zone starting to move its way north as we get deeper into spring towards the beginning of hurricane season and the summer season. And by the time we get to this time uh, next month in May, that's when we'll start tracking off the coast of Africa for our first tropical wave to come off uh, the coast and follow this intertropical convergence zone westward for any possible development as they get closer to the Caribbean in the Gulf of Mexico. And yes, I did say Gulf of Mexico. We here at Deciphering Weather do not give a crap about what Trump says. It's not the Gulf of America, it's the Gulf of Mexico. So that black arrow, we're attracting some vorticity there. That's the energy and spin in the atmosphere. Uh, so we're going to be tracking this and see if any of this actually consolidates into a bowl of vorticity that would potentially become something subtropical. Here's our close-up view of our thunderstorm cluster. Nothing organizing right now, and the National Hurricane Center is expecting no development over the next seven days, but there is a small chance, and I want to show you it on the weather models. So here's that blob of moisture that we're tracking by our black hexagon. This is today on Thursday morning, April 17th. There's the bowl, the small bowl of vorticity that is trying to concentrate and develop associated with those thunderstorms. It does have an upper level trough overhead, so we're on the right side of that trough where we see those lines spreading apart from each other. That means we have some lift in the atmosphere, which is going to create those convection cells for those thunderstorms to form. But right now we do have a lot of wind shear, so those thunderstorms will be chopped off at the top of their clouds. So we're not expecting them to sustain any development currently at the moment. Sea surface temperatures are uh, somewhat above average for this time of year, but because it is the month of April, they are still very relatively cool for, the, for tropical development. So anything that does develop in this region would most likely be subtropical in nature, and it would require the upper levels of the atmosphere to be very cold to sustain thunderstorm activity because temperatures here being 24 degrees Celsius, uh, you need at least 26 degrees Celsius to maintain a warm core tropical system. So a subtropical storm is slightly different. It's warm core in nature, uh, so it gets its energy from the ocean, but it has a broader wind uh, field, uh, unlike the tight compact wind field you would see in a typical tropical storm or a hurricane. So I'll show you that in a little bit in the models. So here we are two days from now on Saturday morning on April 19th. We see this storm has moved to the north and east and it's splitting apart our Bermuda Azores high. So that's going to cause it to stall out. And this is where we can see the thunderstorms start to slowly get themselves organized. So in the upper levels of the atmosphere, we're going to see a deepening upper level trough which is going to allow the expansion in the upper levels of the atmosphere of exhausting air, which is going to suck in at the lower levels of the atmosphere and create that lift mechanism. 
we're also going to see the wind shear start to decrease. And that's going to allow our thunderstorms to start to organize and start wrapping around a developing low pressure system. So then by the time we get to day five on Monday, April 21st, we could see a broad area of circulation that would be indicative of a subtropical storm trying to form. And again, I say broad because you can see how it's the, the broad area, those isobars are very far apart. Not a lot of deep concentration of that vorticity like you see just to the north of that nor'easter near Newfoundland. So that would be the, the, the difference. Of course, Newfoundland's and nor'easter is also not a tropical system either. But if that little piece of vorticity was isolated from frontal boundaries, that's the signature you would want to look for for tropical development. And in the upper levels of that, we see it's another indication of it potentially being subtropical versus tropical is we would have this upper level low overhead. Typically, you want an upper level high, which will allow for the exhausting of those rising uh, air in the column to go away. So this is also indicative of it being subtropical in nature. But that upper level low is creating that low wind shear environment to sustain those thunderstorms. And you can see here that bowl of concentration right in the middle wrapped around a potential frontal boundary. So if it can detach itself from those frontal boundaries, like you see in this potential simulated satellite image, we might potentially get a subtropical storm by early next week. So we'll keep an eye on it. Most likely not going to happen because it's very rare for something to form in the month of uh, April, but we'll, anything is possible. And if it was to develop, its direction would be back towards the Caribbean going around our Bermuda High. So anywhere from the Virgin Islands, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, potentially could see some increased rainfall at least from this system even if it's not a named subtropical storm if we look at the european model we can see again that the bowl of vorticity does try to develop but it doesn't quite stay concentrated enough as the gfs model and also keeps it more away from the islands so you can see on the ensemble models, GFS is the only one really picking up on potential development of this system highlighted in our black hexagon. But again, it's a small chance in the month of April. We've only seen since 1851, only seven named systems form. So it's very unlikely that this will develop. But if it does, we will make another video about it. But Regardless of development, we will see some increased rainfall to the region. So anywhere in the Caribbean, Eastern Caribbean from Hispaniola eastward could see upwards of around one to two inches of rain. So we'll continue to monitor for any potential subtropical storms development. If the National Hurricane Center does say there's a chance, we will make another video about this. But in the meantime, we uh, will just keep this video up for now and my videos will become more frequent as we get closer to the hurricane season especially in the month of may and then in june i would hope to do one every day of uh the of the hurricane season until the end of hurricane season but with my girls uh sports schedule and school schedule until that's over at the end of june might be a little hard to keep up with the videos but we'll keep we'll try and do our best and if we do get a name system, first name of the 2025 hurricane season would be Andrea. As a reminder, we have super thanks available on Deciphering Weather. So if you'd like to donate to the channel, please go down to the heart button where it says thanks. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and leave a comment. Please share this video with your friendly and friends on social media. And if you're new and like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell get all of my upcoming videos. Thank you and have a great day.